graph f of x equals x squared minus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus 1 in the same rectangular coordinate system, selecting integers for x, starting with negative 2 and ending with 2. Once we've obtained the graph, describe how the graph of g is related to the graph of f. Well, with x squared minus 1, if x is negative 2, squared is 4, minus 1 is 3. Negative 1 squared is 1, minus 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. 1 squared is 1, minus 1 is 0. 2 squared is 4, minus 1 is 3. So we have negative 2, positive 3. Negative 1, um, 0. 0, negative 1, 1, 0, and 2, positive 3. For our graph of f, for our graph of g, when x is negative 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5, negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 squared is 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have negative 2, 5, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 5 for our graph of g, and looking at the two, we can see that each point is two units above the points for g, are two units above the points for f, so it's shifted up two units. 